tell you the spirit out here is incredible. We are in Pasadena. Thousands of Houston sports fans spent the afternoon in Pasadena. In Pasadena, the city council is set to hold a workshop to discuss microtransit service. Yeah, one of the oldest and proudest cities in our area. And it sure is good to see what's happening in Pasadena. We've always been the place for possibilities. Now, we're taking it to the next level. Over the past year, Pasadena has been getting a lot of positive attention. Whether we're setting the stage for a renewed economy, local redevelopment, or reminding the world who we are, the momentum is undeniable. Jeff has been extremely refreshing. I also sit on the Pasadena School Board, and ever since he's been mayor, just everything between not only our, our business community, but uh, the relationship between our school board, just the growth has been incredible. The first time I came here, I came from our downtown offices, and it was a 15 minute drive. I thought, my gosh, I had no idea it was this close. I'd never been to Pasadena before. You've got the infrastructure with the uh, ship channel. We are, we are physically connected to a pipeline to the Permian, so this is a fantastic location. It's very, very business friendly. Again, the, the mayor's welcomed us. Um, it's a good place. It's a good place to operate, and we're really in the center of the energy industry for the, for the nation. So it's a good place. In the past two years, Pasadena has seen a $2.6 billion capital investment increase to our local economy. And that new business translates into local job opportunities, and Pasadena is ready. We did global benchmarking, and out of that came 35 custom laboratories, so there's nothing like it in the world. A lot of opportunities. So the center is an energy center, and as you know, energy is evolving. Our petrochemical plants are growing, and we've got a big technology program. The way these plants are operated today, they'll be, it'll be much different five years from now. So we're at the cutting edge of that technology. One of the most exciting things we have happening is our Bachelor of Science in Nursing, which will kick off in fall of 2020 right here at our central campus, and we're excited about that. That's a transition program for associate degree nurses who are working as RNs to get their, their Bachelor of Science in Nursing. So really exciting program designed for the hospital partners that we work with. A recent report from the Pasadena Economic Development Corporation shows that more than 2,000 new jobs have been created in Pasadena in just the last two years. These are full-time primary career positions with annual salaries of $100,000 or more. A lot of that is due to our new and expanded business numbers, which quadrupled in just one year. But we're not done yet. A new city program is looking to help small business owners with redevelopment in historic Pasadena. We have a facade program that really gives an incentive to business owners that you know are looking to redevelop their building and certain corridors and specific areas we want to be able to say look if you're willing to invest you know apply it with the city and see if we can't match you up to a certain amount to basically encourage some redevelopment in some key areas like Pasadena Boulevard is a good example. And there's more great news for redevelopment areas. Pasadena joins the impressive list of communities benefiting from a Livable Centers study, which is a prestigious grant awarded by the Houston Galveston Area Council, and public input is a key component. It really gives us the right roadmap based on how people are living today, what are some amenities they need, and, and then so that it'll be something that will stay there for the next 30 years and be properly used. The future looks bright indeed for families in all parts of Pasadena. For the first time in decades, a new subdivision has broken ground, making the way for more than 500 new rooftops. I've tried for 20 years to put this project under contract, to buy this land, to develop this, because I wanted to come back to Pasadena. We have we have always been successful out here. The people of Pasadena are wonderful to work with. They are solid citizens, they are good people. According to the National Association of Home Builders, the local economic impact of a development the size of Parkway Trails 
translates into big numbers for our community. In a society where, where people connect more on their phones and via the internet and things of this nature, this development really brings an opportunity for the residents of Pasadena to really get to know each other and grow together. And as Pasadena continues to grow, so do our community relationships, and that helps everyone. Both my parents are immigrants that came here with, from Cuba with nothing in the 1960s, and they always instilled in me that no matter what, you always give back to your communities. Those are the things that warm our hearts and help children that we're able to give them things that perhaps they will never ever have a chance to have. And quite honestly, every time I had a problem, Jeff came to the to the table and helped me and, and managed to make things work. And it, it, it's been a good cooperation between the different departments and, and our team to make this happen here. I've met the mayor several times. He's super engaging. We've worked with the fire department, Pasadena Fire Department. We made a donation there. He met us down there. He just opened the doors to us to get connected to Incident Command and, and all the folks in the city that uh, support not only us, but, the, but all the business community. We're you know, helping everybody, you know, the looks and the aesthetics of the, of the area, helping business owners attract new business, and, you know, and with the proper flow and mobility in the area from the Louisville Center study, could be a big win-win all around. So what I see are those partnerships, that collaboration, they're so powerful, and that really makes Pasadena the place to be. You see that commitment from your industry partners, your government, your city, your school districts, and it gives a great opportunity for our students, and that's our future. I've been building in Pasadena since the early 80s. I can see the change. This is the new Pasadena in my mind. The new Pasadena with a rich history will always honor. This year marks the 40th anniversary of a little old movie with an even bigger soundtrack that put Pasadena on the map. A lot has changed in our city since then, but one thing remains the same. The indomitable spirit of community and pride that powers all kinds of possibilities. Go!